So I just need to discuss the hardware part of this one more time. Um, as you can see, I have assembled this. This is going nowhere. However, if you notice this here, bolt that I put into the cement, um, when I put the four by four over it, it needs to go all the way down, but this needs to go all the way through and come out there and that's in the way. Now, um, there's lots of ways to actually do that, but since I've already assembled it and it's in the cement, um, grinder, maybe, but I might damage the sides of this. I'm not sure if it would get in there. I'm not even going to try. So the choice I'm going to make is this here bolt cutter. And I'm going to hope that it cuts it. Because I never, ever, ever need this bolt to come up anymore. So if I damage this uh, threads here, it don't matter. All I got to do then is just drill a little hole in the bottom of the 4x4 to hump myself over this. This is never going to move. The weight of the actual 2x4 in the building above it is not resting on that um, bolt. The bolt is just holding the metal on top of the cement. So the actual weight spreads out over the entire cement surface because I am not raising it up from the cement. So the cement is the actual supporter of the weight. Um, and this metal spreads any um, localized tension. So it's not just like, oh, it's all heavy here, or all heavy here, or all heavy here. It's going to spread out and weigh down evenly because it's got a plate there between the wood and the thing. That will be... Thing. So let's see um, if I can cut that bolt. I'm going to have to put this down, <laughs> down to uh, do it because I don't have anything to hold it. So I'll be back in just a second. Are you getting excited? Are you getting excited? It's it's almost time to cut it. Oh, I need two hands again. Damn it. Okay, so the bolt cutter. It's no match for that bolt with my strength. <laughs> Damaged it a little. Put a little notch there. But I think I'm gonna have to go get heavier artillery. See if a sawzall will get it. Hope so. Let's go. So yes, Sawzall's rule. As you can see, took that sucker right off. Still pretty warm. <laughs> but now, where'd it go? There it is. But now, doo -doo -doo -doo. oh yeah. Oh yeah. That bolt will take care of any lift that the uh, 4x4 endures. Keep it all the way down. It'll be a nice tight thing. All I'll do is I'll take that 4x4 drop, drill a little hole in the bottom, just big enough for the outside of the bolt. Not the radius of the screw, but the bolt. So that it sits completely flush flat on the bottom. Then I will drill a hole directly through there. Start you go one way in, and you go the other way in, and when you meet in the middle you slide that sucker right on in. You usually want to go from both sides. If you go this way and you miss, 
over here by even a little tiny bit, then you're gonna have a problem with the, the metal. So, drill straight in about halfway, straight in about halfway. If the bolt doesn't, then screw straight in. You can further yourself a little further and make sure that middle is connected, but you don't wanna make it loose. So that's how you're going to do that without going through all the way and ending up with a big thing on this side that lets the whole 4x4 four four slide back and forth. Even, even a quarter inch in the wind, it's going to sit there and go and that problem will grow over time. It'll, the, uh, the, action, uh, the action of these... Uh, these will start eating the wood a little bit. You don't want it to move. So, so it can only get worse. But do what I just said, and you'll have a tighter fit. Won't go nowhere. All right. That's my advice on that. I'm done.